Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to fix Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 whether not auto update. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. So, the step one is to check auto refresh settings on the wearable app is enabled or not. Okay, so then you can simply turn on the smartphone that are connected with your Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. Okay, after turning on, you will see here a home screen. So here you can simple tap on watch settings you will see on my screen so in watch settings you can simple scroll down until you find here a apps and then open it sorry yes so in apps you can simple find a weather app so weather start for w it means at the last and here it is so open it and here tap on app settings so in app settings you will find here the last option is auto refresh at every hour Okay, so be ensured that the, this feature is turns on. If your feature is set to never, you can simple tap on it and then set to every hour or a 3 hour, 12 and 24 hour. It's upon you. Okay, so if this feature is turns on, so your issue is resolved completely. So if you are facing this issue still, so you can simple enable the location on your smartphone, smartwatch. Okay, so you can simple and here make sure the location is turns on here it is if the location is turns off you can simple enable it okay step 3 is restart the device so sometimes a simple restart can resolve many outdated software issues so you can simple press and hold the power button until you see a samsung logo on the screen so once you see a samsung logo you can simple leave it as it is it will take two to three minutes to restart okay step 4 update the weather app or uninstall it and restall again okay so you can simple uninstall the weather app from your watch and then reinstall it here when you simple open app drawer here you will find a weather app when you long press it it will open a weather settings here you can simple go disable it okay step 6 use alternate weather app so if the default weather app continues to malfunction, consider downloading an alternate weather app from the Galaxy Store, such as Google Weather. And then you allow the necessary permission to set it to as a primary weather app. Okay. So if you have tried all the above steps and you are still facing this issue, time to contact a customer support. It may be more so they can simply provide you a further assistant or consider visiting a certified service center. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial. Goodbye.